Hello there, so this is Anugra and I am going to show today one of the games from the June Humble Bundle. This game is called Plague Inc. Evolved. It's been on the iPad actually quite some time ago and uh, it came developed later and uh, released on Steam. And I now received it in a Humble Bundle and I'm going to give it a shot. So let's see what this game has. Uh, single player, we've got official scenarios, custom scenarios, speedrun, tutorial, let's, let's, uh, let's try the main game, just to see what this game has to offer. The following new plague type has been discovered and unlocked, Shadow Plague, that sounds ominous. So let's see what I have, I got bacteria, virus, fungus, parasite, prion, necrovirus, nanovirus, bioweapon, Simeon Flu. What is this? Official movie content from the dawn of the planet of the apes. Control intelligent apes while eradicating humanity with artificial virus. That sounds menacing. Shadow Plague. A sentient mutagenic pathogen triggers a powerful thirst for blood. All right, so vampires? Let's, let's start with the basic bacteria. The most common cause of plague, unlimited potential. Let's try with that one. So I get to choose five genes, but I looked at the like, looks of it. Let's see what we have. We have none of these ones unlocked at all, but it does seem like we have a lot of cool ones available here. There are different ones for each slot. Apparently they give you some bonuses like this one gives uh, bonuses to the climate. Uh, this one gives bonuses to... Whoa. This sound. All right. So basically it has affects the ability of other people to cure your plague. Uh, this one is increasing the ability for it to spread. This one uh, affects your mutation. And this one uh, gives you more DNA. So makes, well, let's see what DNA does. I have no idea, but I've got no genes. So we're gonna start with a fresh bacteria. Mm, looks delicious. So they got different difficulties, casual. No one washes their hands. Research doctors don't work. And sick people give hugs. Uh, normal, 63%, 67% washes hands and doctors work three days a week. Let's say mega brutal. Genetic drift impacts evolution. Doctors invest in research and random medical checkups. That sounds a bit nasty. There's a cheat button here, but I am not going to use that one. You have some cheats that you can use, I can see, but you have to unlock them. So I am just going to start with casual because I'm an absolute noob of this game. So let's call this gene, um, what shall we call it? The bunny death. Let's call it the bunny death. That's a cute name. You're a new bacteria to win. You must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humanity in the ultimate plague. Select a start location. So with a click on it, you can see more information so right, let's choose a start pop area. Ooh, seven billion people in the world. Where should I start? Well, a populated areas. I guess I should start in a very populated area. India and China are a good option. Somewhere with an airport and harbor, and they both have it. So let's go with the one with the most people, which is India. We've got some information down here. Rural, rural, humid country has open land borders open ports and open airports so let's there's some information around here you can zoom quite a bit actually but let's start in India infect India okay bunny death begins in India it's in fact the first human weak but used to hot temperatures it must evolve using DNA points to infect more so let's click All right, one is diseased yes I will take over the world let's click this button I got one more so what do I do now? Four is infected. I got two DNA points. Six is infected. Come on, give me more people. Infect them. New seed in the center of magnetic field shifts. Okay, source of power. 
Nah, I'm in India. Burning death begins to spread. And grow expand. You control the plague indirectly by evolving it. So I can't really directly do anything. I have to. Ooh. Pop orange DNA bubbles to get DNA points. So I can get more DNA points by clicking these orange things. Let's click it and see. More points. What does this button do? Disease screen. Ooh. Lots of things I can evolve, I'm guessing. Oh, it costs DNA points. Okay, so it makes it easier to spread. I got 10 now. 11, 12. No one's died yet on my play. Oh, lots of statistics. Okay. So I need to infect another 7,124,543,798. I've got some work to do. Let's see if we can get this gene to be, be this plague to become better, worse. What does this do? Protection against climates, antibiotics. Okay, so I've already uh, symptoms. What can I, I don't want to kill people yet. I want to really make it effective at infecting. So let's do it with insects. Give me the insects. There we go. Ooh, an achievement. Evolve your disease. All right, let's see if we can get more DNA bubbles. Nothing's really affected except India at the moment. Plan your strategy to evolve diseases by spending DNA points. So basically, this is the game for anyone who wants to kill the world. How to infect people the most efficiently. Hundreds of people are infected. Keep involving your disease. All right, it's spreading quite quickly now. Uh, all right, let's click and oh, more bubbles. Let's click it. All right, I can learn more about clicking here. All right, let's see business as usual. They're not really terrified. What can I see here now? Okay, there's not that many that's affected, but I'm not really surprised about it, really, considering. Let's add some more. Hmm, we need to get it to evolve, uh, spread faster. Let's, oh, let's give it air. Oh, let's spread by air. That's effective. I need it for airplanes anyway. Let's hope it spreads by airplanes. All right, we're up to 1800 now. 2300, 3005. There we go, now we're starting to infect some thousands of people. That's the way we do it. Let's, let's get some water infection as well. So it gets effect by air and water. Did I spread? No, I haven't spread yet. But I'm guessing the most likely countries to get affected first would be Pakistan, China, or uh, Southeast Asia from the map looks. Uh, let's see if we can do something with symptoms, make them, um, make them spread. All right, so I can make them cough a lot. That makes it spread quite a bit. That's, that's, hmm. All right, let's do that. Let's puff it in. And let's see what happens. All right, I'm breaking my one million soon. But no one's dead. It's not really deadly yet, though. I probably should do some evolving for that. Let's speed the tire a little bit. Ah, yes, there we go. Spread to China. I was right. Let's pop some bubbles. Get points, get points, get points. Yeah, more DNA points. There we go. Now we're spreading. Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 go. Let's go a bit slower again. Ah, we spread. Ooh, more infectious than HIV. We've infected 116 million. Let's give it some more transmission things. I want it to be spread by rodents. Oh, look at that, look at that. India is succumbing. Hmm. I need a drug resistant ability. All right, where do I find that? Abilities, maybe? Uh, no, that's climate. Drug, there we go. I need 11 DNA points. Let's see if I can get that one quickly. Eight. Ah, oh, almost entirety of India is infected now. Assist symptom. What is this? 
it's the cyst symptom. Let me see symptoms. The cyst. Ah, oh, there we go. Slight chance of bursting, which can spread disease. Very good. So I've got enough DNA now. Let's evolve this one quickly. And uh, let's make it harder to research because it's spreading quite quick now. So more p people might get interested in it. So let's. There we go. It's spreading quite nicely. Okay. Oh, so they found a. Oh, no! They found me! No! Okay, let's see. I need to get this thing deadly uh, soon. All right, so world data. So they're they're not researching at it yet. I'm not become dangerous, but that's probably because I infected a lot of people. But I haven't killed anyone yet. So let's see if I can make myself a bit more effective at spreading um, symptoms. Let's see if we can go. To Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, sneezing. Yes, let's get people infected through that one. And spread. Let's make them less productive. Because then they can't research an anti antidote for my... Hmm, that's a deadly one. Hypoxia. Hmm, which one, which one, which one, which one? All right, let's try with this one and let's try with the pneumonia as well. Let's see how this goes. Will I get my first death? Nope, but I keep... India starts to work on cure. No! Hmm, it is expected to take a long time though. There we go, I'm spreading. I have spread to the US. Not to Canada though. Interesting, they list Alaska as part of Canada. Although it isn't. Oh, there we go. New places, new places, more diseases. Yes, yes, yes. Spread. Give me those points. Ooh, 34. Let's uh, pause for a second. Get the points. Um, let's evolve. I need to do some more transmission. Hmm. Uh, let's do some air and water. Oh, I can do this one go through filters that will be nice that would be great but i need some more dna let's go infect the world my little babies look at it spread oh more infections than the common cold i've got 2.6 million people infected but it's not deadly yet i oh, india shut down airports well that's fine i got china and other countries but I need to really uh, make this start to make this thing deadly soon, I think, because I've infected over half the world, but no one's dead yet. Um, let's try and see if we can make it deadly somehow. Hmm. But making it hard to kill would be nice as well. I have innate ability versus heat so let's go with cold resistance so it spreads better in the northern countries and as a protection against all climates uh, but I really need to let's let's go with some deadly stuff can be fatal there we go let's pop that one in uh, anemia and uh, let's go with this one there we go let's let's really make this thing a killer they're rapid bleeding and death. That should do it. Let's see if people die now. Let's see. I still keep affecting new places. That's good. That's good. Ah, the first death. Ooh. There we go. All right. The death toll is starting to climb up now. I can see a problem though. If I kill the whole world too quickly, it might not spread if it goes too quickly. As ooh, I've evolved. Come on, infect the world, kill everyone, but I need to infect Greenland. I, I need to get a boat over there, somehow. I need to get something that can go with a boat. How do I get to go with a boat? It's a boat, but this is the boat. Let's make it resistant, there we go. Let's give it some more abilities. Difficult to research. I don't want them to find a cure for me quickly. I want to be able to kill everyone. Oh, 
people are dying in central Europe faster than new people are being affected. That's a problem. That is a problem. I maybe made it a bit too deadly. Err. Ooh, I've been more affected in the Black Death. All right, some, some tip, some tip, all right. So let's see what this does. <coughs> Give me more DNA points. Kill more than the Spanish flu. Right, I got a good spread going around here, but I'm worried about some places. Oh, they're all globally focused on it now. Let's see how this goes. So there's 8% cure progress. Only 30% of the corporation of the population is healthy. Um, how do I see US, Japan and China? I need to kill them quickly, but they still need over a year to finish the research. So that is looking good for me. There's lots of statistics in this game. Lots of things you can click and look at and see how it goes. That's really interesting. You see where people are dying from what and what needs where. It's a bit, almost a bit scary. Um, but let's make it a bit more effective at transmitting. Let's, let's, let's go with the birds. We got the bird flu experience. It went well. And rodents. The Black Death came with rodents. What could go wrong? Yes, we got Greenland. Greenland's infected. Ooh, pulmonary edema. That's a deadly one. And I've almost got the whole world infected. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. I am being placed on the watch list and the World Health Organization. South Africa is leading the uh, cure effort. I've, I've destroyed a bubble. I destroyed a research thing. Another achievement, Bottle Smasher. Right, I've got to stop the cure from speeding up, so that's good. I need to kick all the bubbles. Let's see now. I think I've got most countries affected by the looks of it. I just need to let them infect everyone properly so they die. Let's go with the sheep this time, the baba. And let's see what happens. And there we go. Infect, infect, infect. The cure is 25% complete. I need to become more deadly. People are not dying quick enough. I need to... I actually need to get some more death involved in this. That's not good. People are not dying quick enough. Turkey's breaking down. That's good. That's good. Die, my people. Die. <laughs> Let's see what we find now then. Um, I got some more points. Can I make it more deadly somehow? Um... Total organ failure would be cool, but I need 37. Okay. Paralysis. Can be fearful, can be fearful. The best would be to get the organ failure or a coma, but let's go with this one. I ain't got the points yet. I need to make it more deadly than I can. Let's just infect everyone and kill them. There are no healthy people left in the world. Yes! Now, I just need to wait for them all to die before they find a cure. Question is, will I be able to kill everyone before they find a cure? That is a question now. That's a healthy airplane. How's that possible? Are this research planes? That's what it is. I'm surprised there's actually any airplanes going. It's 50% complete, and I haven't even killed half of the world yet. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I need to develop some really experimental career for my bunny death is lethal. <laughs> ah, yes, they got the setback. That's good. That's good. How much do I need for this? Uh, I need 31 or 38. Ooh. My lethality is very low, actually. I don't really kill that many people that bad. I've spent too much points spreading the disease and too little in actually being deadly. 
Let's see, maybe it evolves something on its own so that I can get more deadly uh, without having to do anything extra. Hopefully, the by, by, by killing people, uh, the cure for the disease will slow down as long as I keep going the bubbles, uh, keep clicking the bubbles for the glasses. Uh, but people are not dying that quickly still. 75% uh, complete. That's 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 very bad. They might actually they might survive. The world might make it. Let's see. Will the world make it? I really. Oh, maybe I can do it now. Um. No. Should I go with coma? Or should I go with total organ failure? Let's save for total organ failure. That's a very deadly one keep breaking bottles let's hope i kill enough people to slow down the research there we go total organ failure very deadly let's speed up the death of people kick all the bubbles will i be able to kill everything come on it looks like i might be able to do it there's only 600 million people left 500 million people left it's the final countdown 300 million people left, 200 million people left, the research has totally stopped, 100 million people left, I almost killed everyone, and 50 million, let's speed it up a bit more, 30 million, 20 million, 10 million, there is 5 million people left in the world, and 2 million, 1 million, and less than a million. Ah, another invitation. That's good. 500,000. Bunny death to eradicate humans. You're all going to die. 100,000 people. 50,000 people. 10,000 people. Yay! I have successfully elim eliminated all life on Earth. So I wiped out the world in 639 days. So apparently you can, um, well, I played on the easiest of them all, obviously. And I'm now discovered on like the ionized helix, which is a new gene. So if we go for the uh, gene thing here now, let's go with the, um, let's go with this one here. I've inserted a new gene, which is ionized this one. Bonus DNA event ev evolving. So basically you can do this to um, enhance you as you start. So it makes it a bit difficult. So you can play at higher difficulties and you can al unlock the other different ones by doing things like the virus in the game and bacteria playing a normal higher fungus. With, oh, there's lots of different things. I can imagine you can have a lot of different ways of playing this and it would be quite interesting. Um, and uh, I can see that you've got the possibility of official scenarios, custom scenarios, speed run, where you compete with friends. So apparently you can play multiplayer on this one as well. In single player, you got versus match uh, to see who can affect the world the most. And you can work together with someone um, to wipe out the world. So this is actually quite interesting. It has changed a lot since I first played it on the um, iPad. And it has a lot of more options now. And um, will it be worth the uh, 14 99 euros that's in Steam now in the European? Maybe. Uh, I could definitely sinking, see myself sinking a couple of hours into this, getting all the, all the strains, all the DNAs, all the uh, different types of viruses and funguses. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll do another quick video again once I've unlocked everything. But uh, that's it for me today on Onogra. And uh, this was June Humble Bundle.